As many celebrate Easter this weekend, we're reminded of its universal message of love, sacrifice, and rebirth. All elements of Steve Hartman's story tonight on the road. When pro football player Conrad Ruland was hospitalized with a brain aneurysm last November, he took it as a sign. He texted his mom from the hospital, God had something big in store for me. I can't wait to see where his will takes me. But a few hours later, the aneurysm ruptured. I couldn't leave him. His parents, Mary and Ralph, raced to his side. I had my right ear on his chest and talked to him and laid that all day and listened to his heartbeat all day long. But her son was brain dead at 29. If this was God's plan, it sure felt like an awful one. And then when we left, I said, whoever gets his heart better deserve it. I had a massive heart attack. The one paramedic, he had the paddles in his hands. Come on, we're losing him, we're losing him. You heard that? Yeah, and then I was gone. This is Rod Carew. Even if you're barely a baseball fan, you know the name. These are all for winning the batting titles. Long before that massive heart attack landed him on the transplant list, this Hall of Famer played for the Minnesota Twins and California Angels. Along the way, he earned a reputation for being great with kids, including one wide-eyed boy named Conrad Ruland. He gets in the car, big eyes and everything. He's about 11, maybe 12, and he's saying, Mom, Mommy, I met Rod Crew today. You know, he's a pro athlete. I want to be a pro athlete. And he, the rest of the day, that's all he talked about was meeting Rod Carew. They only met that once. But these two professional athletes are now inseparable because a few months before he died, Conrad checked the organ donor box on his driver's license application. Welcome. And by sheer coincidence, the man who received Welcome. his heart was none other than Rod Carew. It's good to see you. You're a part of our family now. Yes, forever. Yes. The two families got together recently at the Rulins house in Orange County, California. I'm gonna ask mom to listen to his heart and tell me how beautiful it sounds. That was really cathartic for me to, to be able to hear it again. Every heartbeat is unique. There it is. And she said this one was unquestionably Conrad. I've got it memorized. The two families are now planning to team up to use Rod and Conrad's celebrity to promote the American Heart Association and to encourage many more people to become organ donors. Whatever, if we can save a life. And that means including Conrad now. You know, he's, wherever I go, he's going to be there. When Conrad sent his mom that text, saying he felt like God still had a plan for him, he obviously thought he would go on living. And now we know. He will. Steve Hartman, on the road, in Orange County, California. He sure will. Conrad Ruland.